understand is very clear. I see something. I, I am. I see it. It is something very unique. But when I look upon all of you, I understand that you are not able to see it. You are not able to see it. But okay. I see it, I am happy about it, I go. That is not enough. Out of my love, out of my love, I want that every one of you should see it. Because I see its benefits. I see what it is. And out of my love, I want that each one of you should taste it. Okay. Each one of you should experience it. So there are not many visionaries. Visionaries are a few old days. They stand as the lighthouses of humanity. Who They have the experience of seeing vision. They have seen. But we all don't have that activity to see that at this moment. But the visionary wants that we also should see it. So to prepare ourselves to see that we undertake the second activity. What is it? Mission. Mission. Now here, in Amrita Vidyale, the visionary is Amma. The mission is represented by Amma. Amma is a living miracle. Amma is a living miracle. Do you understand it? What she has seen or experienced, out of her compassion or love, she wants that everyone should experience. For that we should work towards that ideal, that vision. That is why institutions, various opportunities for meaningful activities are made available for those who want to walk that path to see that mission. Okay? So we are all missionaries. Missionaries trying to walk towards the vision or the ideal that our Sadhguru Amma has. Amma holds. If we cannot say she has seen, that is not the correct thing. She holds. The vision that she holds, that we want, that Amma wants that every teacher, every child, every parent, every beneficiary, every stranger, even, should walk towards that vision. And that has come out of her compassion or her love. She can have a vision, she can be happy. She can leave all of us you will find your way. But she has not done like that. But she has done. She has opened various opportunities so that people can walk towards that vision. Now if you understand it, so this is what vision and mission. At present, we are missionaries walking in the path of that vision which Amma holds and we have to sincerely walk towards that path. That is what the meaning of the topic is. Understood? One minute you meditate what I have spoken so far. One minute you just reflect. And finally I shall try to connect. First when I discuss, you may not see the connection. But by the end of the session, you will see the connection. This numerology is a very interesting topic. Study in what? Numerology. Study on numbers. We can be giving names to our children. You also might have what you are saying based on numerology. And you all may 
Six is two is one pair pair by number. Six third three three has come. Six has come. Two has.
These three are human basic needs. Whether we live in a cave or we live in a big backlog. Wherever we are, every human being needs these three things. They are basic needs. But apart from that, four more are added. Fourth one is What is it? Education. Education. This education, Taliban is denying to women, girl children in Afghanistan. Three basic needs nobody can deny. But fourth one, they are not basic. Even a government can deny it. What is the fourth one? Education. It's a, it is also an important need. Then, what is it? Health. Is it not an important thing? Now, after this uh, insurance is becoming a part of our life, everybody takes health policy. Because everybody knows health is an uncertain factor in life which may cause us trouble, is it not? So health also has become one of the fundamental basic needs. Then you may think this much is enough. Five basic needs. No, no, no. Now another one basic need is there. What is it? Entertainment. Entertainment. Monday to Saturday, continuous work. But Sunday, and let us go to a park. Eh? Let us go to a restaurant. Let us go to a movie. Or let us have a family get together. This is a basic need of every human being. That is why it is, when it comes television, television. Or CD player, CD player. Now we have cyber uh, entertainment. So every mind craves for entertainment. We cannot have our life nowadays. Even though not only nowadays, even much before also. Entertainment is a part of life. So that's a given need. And then last. What is it? Has it not become a basic need? Our Prime Minister says, development of a country means
means development of its roads. Now, I remember some months before we interviewed a candidate and she had to be posted in a school. She asked about everything, but finally, salary and everything got agreed. But finally, we told the place of posting where you are going, there is no internet. She told no, that is not possible. She did not join. So, what I mean to say? The basic needs have increased to seven. Food, cloth, shelter, communication, education, health and... These seven have to be assured in a person's life. That is why parents bring children to... They know if knowledge is acquired, these seven things can be ensured. That's why education. That's why Swami Vivekananda gives a beautiful definition for education. Education should help a person to stand on his or her feet. That is what is education. Education should enable a person to stand on his or her feet. That is education. So, any education that is making a person deprived of these, deprived of the fulfillment of these basic needs, cannot be considered as what? True education. So, Amma wants that. Through her schools, we should give self-reliant education. A child passing out of class 12 should be very good in speaking. Through speaking, she or he can learn what? Should be very good in articulation, expressing. Through expressing, the child or the future citizen, the future person can earn his or her livelihood. Through certain basic good qualities itself, through that, Wherever you put, the person can stand on his or her feet. So that the basic seven needs, fulfilling, their fulfillment should not be a trouble or struggle for the person. This Amma says in one sentence. That sentence is, Education for living. Education for living. Now we are trying to understand our vision, our mission. Our vision of education is education for living. What does it mean? It means enabling a person to stand on his or her feet so that the person becomes self-reliant Self-reliance is a better word than independent. Okay? Self-reliance so that he or she can find his or her basic needs fulfilled in the course of life. In the course of life. Now you think about it one minute. Reflect on it as it is a classroom. Understand it thoroughly. Okay, shall we proceed? Now, imagine a person becomes self-reliant, becomes self-sufficient, everything is there. He or she raises a good family, gathers a lot of prestige in the society, like 
circumstances favorable to him or her stands on life. But still, if we look at the face of old people who have lost the sixty or seventy, old people, you look at them. Most of them are sad. Most of them are sad. When they are sad, through the life, they all have been studying to fulfill what the seven things. Even if a person fulfills it, it is his wish that his children also should get educated. He wants to ensure it, or she wants to ensure it. We don't have the patience to see that the children let them develop. No. Being a parent, it is my duty to see that my children also should have enough when that I have a parent. And if it increases further, the person may think that my grandchildren also should have enough when that favorable circumstances so that they should also be self-reliant with the my effort. So we may say that for the next third generation, fourth generation, we say, oh, okay, you know, oh, that person is a very rich friend. He has amassed enough wealth so that the next seven generations can be peacefully and this is what we need. So what is it actually? In spite of gathering so much of it, Enjoyment, wealth, education, prestige, fame. Life does not reach to a logical conclusion of its own. That is the reality of life. Even Albert Einstein suffered from it. Albert Einstein was very famous. Enrich a person's mind with the techniques and skills and uh, 
the right one. All these are only for filling the stomach. Filling the stomach. And we struggle life long for filling the stomach. But that doesn't lead to a conclusion. So the question is from what is it that fulfills that? The fulfillment part of life that is given as the next goal of education amongst the institutions. It is written like this. No more 
no more stress. And there is a happiness in your brain. You become joyful, joyful. And there is no depression in the eyes of anybody. Life will be spiritual. Until you catch hold of that higher dimension of life, life is all around suffering has gone away. Bhagavan Gautam Abhutta. He could see only zero. He could not see that number one. So he is told, life is full of suffering. So my friends, as a teacher, working in the Amrita Vidyalaya, you should fairly catch hold of that higher dimension of life which the missionary has seen, but the missionary wants out of her love that everyone should see that in very possible. Okay? This is what education for life or education for living. Education for living in our country is say One who holds that Amritam 
his wife after the vidyalaya sent meaningful education in your life ask not you step into the education institution named after amrita that shown his step and paying your respect seeing that your children would follow this is what we expect out of this education program it is not a building of bricks and tiles never think like that and amrita vidyalaya is not a building of bricks and tiles it is not like any other big suguna bricks or mini or wisdom school or, 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 or any other abc school where somebody has invested some money wants to hear a lot of topic so do all types of gimmicks not like that this is this is a holy institution it is a set sacred arrangement it has got its own sanctity that is what we want to impress upon you you are in amrita means you hold on to that vision of amma okay we may not be realizing it but that is a possibility as i told one goes to infinity the possibility of infinity becomes a reality because of 